All right, Cameron. Four and zero against Rocky Jordan. Yes, sir. Dominant match in the finals. There, yes, never in any danger. Uh, all your matches were pretty dominant against Rocky, weren't they? Yeah, you know, um, to be honest, in, in every match, I don't think he he scored a point really. I mean, the only points he got was at Iron Man. Uh, it was three to one, and and the, those were some the stalling points, a stalling point, and then also at um, the Holiday Tournament. But at Districts, it was a five zero, and then at um, the State Tournament, it was three zero. So. Right, Don was solid, just in the position the match. Bookend state titles for you. Yes, were you, were you a four time state finalist? Four time, four time state finalist, yes. Uh, champ, runner up, runner up, champ. Bookends, yes, freshman, senior. Yes, What's that feel like to go out on top? Um, Undefeated, um, you know, ranked top 10 in the country. Feels great, yeah. You know, it's it's surreal. I mean, to go undefeated, um, coming into the season, I, I didn't I didn't plan on going undefeated. You know, I planned on wrestling one tournament at a time. Um, you know, I wrestled a good Ironman tournament. Was able to get a lot of confidence going into the regular season. Then once I was in the regular season, uh, everything started clicking. Um, you know, I was finally healthy this year. I mean, I don't know if many people know, but sophomore year, I tore my MCL three days before state. And then junior year, I missed a good more than half of the year because of my elbow. So I was finally healthy this season, and I think that uh, my confidence was, was a big factor in my performance this year. Ohio University, Joel Greenlee. Oh, yeah. I talked to him Great right guy. before this. Yeah, I don't think you can beat Joel Greenlee as far as a guy, but why Ohio U? You know, you, you, you could have gone a lot of different places. Why not right. the Big Ten? Why Ohio U? You know, um, that's a good question. A lot of people ask me. A lot of people thought that I was going to go somewhere else for sure. They thought I was going to go uh, other places. But, you know, I, um, to be 100% honest with you, I could. If you asked me a year ago, I, I never would have expected myself to be at Ohio University. But, you know, I went down there, went to the campus, fell in love with the campus, fell in love with the coaches, the team. Um, you know, they're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real family feel, and, um, and I think I'm just going to be happy there. And where I'm happy, I'm just going gonna, gonna to wrestle my best, and I'm going to be positive. And the coaches are great guys. You know, they treat the starters the same as the backups, and it's just it's an amazing atmosphere. Uh, you know, what, a lot of these guys go undefeated as seniors, and then that's it. We listen to talk to Coach Greenlee, you know, talk to your family. Will we see you at any of the off-season stuff, or is this it? I'm getting oh, ready for course. college. Of course, you know, um, I, don't, I don't know why a lot of people go. They, they end their senior season and they don't wrestle. I mean, you gotta constantly be getting better. I mean, I, I'm, my my career is not over, so I'm going into my freshman year. It's it's a new start. It's a new journey, and I, and I gotta start training tomorrow. You know, start lifting and stuff like that. But I'm gonna enjoy it right now. But then I'm gonna start training for the off-season. Um, I'll be, I'll, I'll be at Fargo, maybe junior nationals, but I'll be definitely on the freestyle season for sure. Did you get a chance to talk to Coach Jordan at all? Did he say congratulations or anything to you? No, I, I didn't get to talk to him. You didn't talk to him? No, uh, no look, no words exchanged. No, sir. Now, you guys are from the same area. Did you train? Did you ever go to their camps or anything? Yeah, I, I was uh, I was a Jordan boy growing up. I've been going there since I was seven years old, and then um, you know sophomore year, some, some things went sideways, and I've been there since. And looking at, uh, you know, going into college next year. Look, you're pretty big. Looks like you could be a 41-pounder. Yeah, you know, um, going into college, I thought I was going to be a 33-pounder, and that's what I, I expected, and that's that's still the plan as of right now. But, you know, I, I got a pretty tall frame for a 33, and, and if I thicken up a little bit, which I expect to, I mean, you never know. So, between 33 and 41, I guess we'll find out. But. Bellbrook, you yeah. guys came out of nowhere as I a know, team, right? man, right? We stay finalists. Um, unbelievably proud of those guys. It, it was, I mean, we made school history, and um, I'm just, I'm extremely excited. I mean, that, that's, that, that made it, that made this state title and this year so much more special, you know, to go out with a state title and, and be in the state finals with three of your, two of your other best friends that you've been training with since you were six years old and constantly making each other better, and we stayed home and we didn't transfer and we made each other better at home, so. Awesome. Cam, you got anything else for me, buddy? Um, no, go, go Bobcats, and uh, that's all. Hey, right, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for the time, bud.